Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia and I am back with another video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes, so today I have a monthly favorites video for you guys. Now, I don't usually do monthly favorites because when I get products, I usually like to use them over and over and over again. So I don't really have that many monthly favorites to even do one every month. So I do them every so often. And September just is the day that I'm going to do it. So I have a few items that I've been enjoying a lot. Other items that I've been enjoying this month are just items that I have done in previous uh, videos. So with that being said, let's hop into it. And wait, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Now let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is start with the beauty, skincare, all that type of stuff. Then we're going to work our way to miscellaneous. And let's start with beauty palettes. So first palette that I've been really enjoying this like lately is the nikki tutorials x beauty bay palette i just think it is gorgeous like it's a beautiful like especially this side the light side beautiful and the shadows are so pigmented they're super pigmented if you don't like a pigmented shadow well they're not shadows sorry they're pressed pigments excuse me but if you don't like a very pigmented um shadow or pressed pigment whatever you want to call it then you might not like this palette i did have trouble with this green and the blue together but maybe i'll use it next time without using them together i haven't dipped back into those shades yet but my favorite shade is this one here pride it's so pretty it's like a duochrome it's beautiful let me swatch it for you look how pretty that is <laughs> like it's like pink ice on your eyes it's beautiful i also like mama tutorials this this blue shade right here Ooh, look at that oh my goodness the shimmers in this palette gorgeous pigmented just beautiful so yes this is definitely getting a shout out in this video this month. The next eyeshadow palette I'm gonna show you is the Rico Nasty X El Maquillage Collection. I really, really like these, both of the eyeshadow palettes. Um, the other thing, the other, like the brush and, you know, the liners, something I could deal with, could have done without. They're just like normal other, you know, products like, like them, but these, palette stand out to me especially the packaging i love green green is like one of my favorite colors pink and green and the packaging is just so dope and it's not cardboard it's like a plastic so i thought that was cute and i'm keeping the packaging because it looks so cute but it's like see-through kind of sort of but yeah this is the lo-fi press pigment palette and this is just beautiful. It's very muted for the everyday girl, but don't let this fool you. When you pop these on the lid, they look beautiful. Oh my goodness, they pop. Let's let's do some swatches. And this is a matte. The mattes are so buttery. This one is a shimmer. Look at that. Another shimmer. Ooh. Like the mattes are like butter. It's like a formula I've never felt before in a matte. It's so nice. But she was saying that she wanted to make them easy to use with your fingers because she does her makeup with her fingers a lot, like like Pat McGrath does as well. But the shadows in this collection are so pretty. Like, ooh, just so blendable. And you definitely get better payoff when you use your finger. So this is the Neon Rage palette. And I really like this palette. Like this silver is like popping. But I like this palette because it's different shades and colors that I don't have. I'm going to swatch a couple of these. Let's swatch this green. But this is what they looking like. And it just looks so pretty. They're pigmented and... The color payoff is very nice for them to be super bright shades like this. So yes, I'm loving the Rico Nasty Il Maquillage Eyeshadow Palette. So the next beauty product I've been really enjoying is the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Baking Spray. And this is the setting spray that they have. And this stuff, I'm telling you, makes your makeup bulletproof, stay all day. It just works wonders. Like, it sets your face, like, down, like, down, like. It's not going nowhere. This stuff is amazing. And this is a black owned brand. 
and this is just like my favorite setting spray now I've been trying to use other ones because I've been using this one so much in videos so I've been trying to move on to use other ones in my videos but this one right here is my holy grail I love this setting spray it is so nice I wouldn't necessarily use this to like prime the face because you know how some people use some of their pro their setting sprays to prime their face i wouldn't use this to, to prime but this is for sure definitely a great setting spray next items that i have are um two skincare items and they're from fancy skin girl now this is the hydrovisor and this is a moisturizer and a spf in one and i really like this because you get two products in one and I've been looking for a moisturizer with SPF in it for a minute now that I was willing to spend my money on and you know Fenty dropped it right on time and I'm just like yes Fenty yes Rihanna and you know we stands for her so I had to cop that but this is what it looks like it's so cute and it just twists up and down and the cool thing about this is that it's interchangeable so you can rebuy this and keep this Rebuy, just repurchase the refill to put it inside. And boom, there you go. And then you could just twist it up and down. But this is what it looks like. I don't want to use too much because I actually use this all the time. It's like a nice light lavender shade. And this stuff is thick, so you got to work it. Work it, work it, work it all over the skin. But it's really, really nice. If you don't like a thick... Um, moisturizer this might not be the one for you it does have a has a scent it definitely has a scent so if you don't like scent this might not be the scent for you it personally doesn't bother me because it smells nice to me it is very strong so if you don't like that then it's not for you and I noticed that this makes your skin really glowy like I look very oily and glowy when I wear this and I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to do but as you can see you can see the glow on my hand I don't know if that's how the product is supposed to act but that's something that I'm getting used to because I don't like my skin to look like that I don't like it to look oily but you can see it right that's how your face look after the, after you put this on so the next item from Fenty skin is the fat water and this is a pore refining toner serum and yes the claims baby this definitely refines the pores. I really like this and it definitely sinks, in, sinks into the skin really, really nicely. And yeah, that's that's what I'm going to say about this. It definitely helps with my pores. It does what it says it's going to do. Okay, so the next kind of skincare item is this. This is the this is the Clean Skin Club Clean Towels and they are 100% biodegradable face towels. So I got this from, I think, Amazon? I got these from Amazon, but you can get them off their site and get like a discount if you look. But these are basically biodegradable washcloths. So basically, I use these when I'm doing a mask, like a, one of those, you know, green masks, those clay masks, or anything like that. I use these because I don't want to get my washcloths dirty for one. And two, um, you want to switch out your washcloths every time you wash your face. The good thing about these are they're biodegradable, so you can use them up and don't feel guilty about it. You know, you can... Switch it out every time you wash your face and not feel guilty. They're pretty, pretty thick. I don't really want to take one out because I don't want to waste it. But I do want to show you guys like a little bit of how it looks. So I'm not going to take it out. So you just unfold this. But this is how it looks. It's just a nice cloth. And it's really thick and it's about yay big. It's a really nice size for your face. And you can use these if you wanted to for like if you have like a fancier bathroom and you want to give people paper towels, you can use these and they're biodegradable. You're just doing your part to save the earth. So if you wanted to use them for hand towels, you could do that. If you wanted to use them for face, you can do that. Whatever floats your boat. So it says clean towels are 100% biodegradable, ensuring a fresh towel for each use. They're incredibly soft yet durable and won't tear or fall apart. And I can attest they do not fall apart even when wet. Our disposable clean towels will wipe away dead skin cells, wipe away dead skin cells, makeup, and excess oil. So you can toss the trash where it belongs. Boom. So there's the brand again. 
And they're probably on back order because whatever material they use for these, they've been using for the mask because you know the whole pandemic is going on. Let's go on to uh, miscellaneous things. So let's do food. So, well, it's not necessarily food, it's a drink. So Starbucks has been my jam, honey, my jam. And since I've been working from home, I make my coffee at home now. So I do a cold brew. I have a cold brew little bottle that brews the coffee in the refrigerator. So cold brew. And this is the coffee I've been loving September. Now it's the vanilla. And you can get this from your local grocery store. It's the Starbucks vanilla brand. And I tried to go back and girl, why were they all gone? All of them, they were gone. Out of all the coffees in the whole aisle, this one was empty. And I'm like, they must be loving it for the fall. You know, I thought it would be pumpkin spice that would sell out, but it's vanilla. So this is a, it says it's a velvety and rich. It's really nice. I do like this. And what I mix that with is this Starbucks non-dairy creamer. So it's made with almond milk and oat milk. Caramel macchiato flavor. And I like this because it's non-dairy. And, you know, dairy sometimes messes your stomach up. But this, this works well because it's not dairy. Duh. <laughs> Just said that like a hundred times. But, yeah. If you like Starbucks creamers but you have been trying to stay away from dairy or you're going, or you have gone dairy free, then here's an option for you guys. And it's really, really good. And I mix these together and I don't even add any sweetener because this has all the sweetness that you really need. Next item that I have is this. This is a, a wax warmer. And I got this from Amazon. So there's two parts to it. I've been using both parts, but lately this past month, I've been using this side. So, okay, let me just show it to you, the whole thing. So this is a wax warmer. And as you can see, I have a little bit of wax in it. So when you turn it on, it has like a switch that you can switch on and off. And this will warm up and then it will warm the wax up and the wax will give your house just a nice smell. So this is a Febreze smell. And I just keep it in there and then turn it on when I need to. But lately I've been taking it off and using this part. So this part, you can use this for candles. So... I have a candle here. This is a pumpkin candle I got from TJ Maxx. So I got it like last year. And yeah, so instead of me having like burning it and you know, when you blow it out, you get like the smoke smell everywhere. So I used to take the top of the candle and put it on the candle to put the light out because the light needs oxygen. And when you cut the oxygen off, it won't stay lit. But I did that so that the smoke wouldn't get everywhere in my house and make my house smell smoky. So now I don't have to worry about that. I could just put it on the wax machine, heat it up, and then this will heat the, the whole entire wax and then just have it just smelling. Have the house just smell like pumpkin. Just a beautiful smell. So I think this is just genius. Like, and then if you don't have a lighter, since I only have one of these, I have keep this one because it's a smaller candle if you have anything bigger than this it probably won't fit honestly yeah and you don't want it to be over top but yeah anyways i lit the other candle and my whole like lighter went out it wouldn't light anymore so i was just like wow wow so luckily i had the little candle wax and i had one of my candles lit so yes that that is a favorite of mine and i'll have a link to Hello. All right, so the next thing that I have been enjoying lately, and I've been enjoying this since I bought it, and I think I bought it at the end of July. I got it from a birthday gift for myself. Is my MacBook. My, this is a 13-inch 2020 MacBook Pro, and it has four Thunderbolts. So this is what it looks like, and this is my D-brand skin that I actually really, really love. I think it is so cute. It just gives your laptop some personality. I got the Space Gray, but... This laptop is just like wonderful compared to my old one. My old one was a 17 inch, was super long, super heavy. And this thing is like way thin, way thin, way easier to carry around, lighter. And you just pop it in your tote bag or put it in a bag that you have bought for this or whatever. And it's just not heavy. So I've been really, really liking that. And I thought that since I was getting a smaller laptop that the screen was going to be little. No. The screen is beautiful. I've been watching a movie on Disney Plus, but look how big the screen is. So, so nice. 
and um, it has the touch bar and I've definitely been using the touch bar a whole lot when I'm editing my videos because I edit on Final Cut Pro and I also got the, that in a bundle with this laptop. So yeah, and this is the D-Brand skin. So D-Brand has a skin for the top, the bottom, the inside, and the trackpad if you wanted to do that. I'll have them linked below as well, but it just gives my laptop some personality, you know, because I have a little bit of personality. I have to show it in my laptop as well, but yeah. How cute. Nice and light, and yeah, I've really been loving this. The next couple things I want to share with you are things that I can't physically show you, and so I'm just going to talk about them. So, next thing is a, a TV show that I've been watching, and I've been watching it on Stars. It's called Power Book 2 Ghost, and it's just a spinoff of the show Power, and I know you guys know about this show. It is so good. Like, I was a faithful fan of Power, and when they killed Ghost, I was like, wow. Wow. So, you're just going to end the season? Y'all just going to end the show? Because I thought... When they killed Ghost, the show was over because Ghost was the, the main character. But now they have his son, Tariq, has his own little thing going on. So I'm not going to tell you the story, so y'all got to watch it. But it, it's good. It gets good. Like, I really like it. And it has me on the edge of, excuse me, it has me on the edge of my seat every episode. And when, like, a show or movie has me like that, I love it because, yes, so... You need to watch that. The next favorite of mine is the new way that I do my makeup. So I use the Scott Barnes technique when I do my makeup. So I'll do the concealer, the cream bronzer, the cream blush, and then I'll go around in any of the areas that I don't have foundation, I'll put foundation on. And I really have been loving the way that my makeup comes out. So I did my makeup using that technique today. And I think my makeup comes out so much more natural like so much more skin like by the way if you want to see this look that i have going on like the eye look i didn't do the the face in this video but if you want to see this eye look it's up now it's the new pat mcgrath mega palette and yeah giving me life okay so yeah um this new technique just it helps you not to be so cakey not to have so many layers on and I just really really like the way it makes my skin look because I've been so into just I was always into like just skin looking like skin you know like I just don't want my makeup to look like makeup or like cakey or like just too much I want it to look very skin like and very natural and this technique has been helping with me with that and you can see like a couple of my blemishes and, and freckles show through and I like that because it just makes everything look quite natural so the last favorite of mine i want to share with you guys is disney plus the whole disney plus app the app has everything disney everything pixar everything marvel everything that you need that was by disney is on there tv shows movies the short films little skits like it's all on there and i have just been absolutely loving it because i grew up on disney all the disney movies disney channel when disney channel was good you know now it's we ain't gonna get into all that but when Disney Channel was good, when I was growing up with That's So Raven, with Lizzie McGuire, all that stuff is on Disney. And, you know, I, I just, like, absolutely love the vault movies, like, the classics, like, the ones you cannot find anywhere, like, Cinderella, you couldn't find anywhere, it Never Game on TV, Aladdin, you couldn't find anywhere, Pocahontas, you couldn't find anywhere. It's just, like, those classics are the main reason that I actually got the app, because, I had just been wanting to see them, you know? So, got the app, and I'm just in love with it. I watch it all the time. I watch Pir Pirates of the Caribbean. I didn't even know that was, like, affiliated with Disney. But Pirates of the Caribbean is one of my favorite ser um, series of movies. So, yeah. Disney Plus has just been my jam lately. But, yeah. That's everything for this um, monthly favorites. And I hope you guys like that. Let me know in the comments what are your monthly favorites or if you have any of the same as me. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Bye, guys. Till the next one.